Welcome everyone, welcome to another month of my health. <laughs> so welcome Tazzlers, if you're not part of the Tazzler group, click subscribe and yeah, join in the fun. So this is February part one. So February, wow, what a month. I mean, it's Valentine's month and again, chocolate, which I can't have. Um, Easter's coming up as well, chocolate, which I can't have. So every, every event seems to be chocolate related. So how have I been this month? It hasn't been the best. No, it hasn't been the best at all. So, black coffee. So I've been gaining a little bit of weight, which is a bit of a problem, but it's not sugar related. It's all the food that I'm eating is low sugar, but high in fat. And, you know, trying to find a balance where I can level it out and it's not working. <laughs> That's my excuse, I'm sticking with it. <laughs> no. That's the problem I'm facing at the moment. So every Tuesday at 5.30, I weigh myself. And this week I weigh myself, it was 96.20 kilograms. And I was, when I started, 95. And I went down to 92 and I'm back to 96. And as you can see in the next graph, it shows like a little, you know, it's going up but now I'm trying to get it back again so I'm going to go back to the way I was eating before it's a lifestyle change isn't it when you do a diet it's a set path and you do it quite quickly then when you get to the level you want the weight you want how are you supposed to keep it up the only way to do it I think is a lifestyle change change the way that you think um, about food and change the way that you eat food and more exercising. I mean, my problem was I was eating food, not crap food. I was eating food, but I wasn't exercising. That's why my weight had fluctuated a bit. So now I've got this week off. I've been walking more. So hoping next Tuesday I'll, it'll see a bit of a difference. Um, and I'm going to keep doing that when I'm at work. I'm going to walk around more, do stuff like that. It's I've been, you know. I've been Monday, I did 13,000 steps, Tuesday 11,000 odd steps and normally I do about 5,000, 4,000 a day being at work so I need to look into that, I need to do that a bit more, the walking especially after work. Now that the spring's getting close I can do it more but it is not easy is it, not easy. So yeah, so that's the problem I'm facing. I know you're going to say, oh, Darren, you're slacking, you're slacking, but it's tricky getting to that part where I want to level it off when I get to that weight I want to get to in the cholesterol and the, the glucose and blood. When it gets to the point where it's not dangerous, I want to make sure that I can stay stable, not go back up again. So I've set myself a goal for the next part two which will be at the end of the month, is, as I said, I'm 96 point odd kilograms. I want to get back down to 94, and then aim back to 92 again and work with from there and get below 90. So that's my aim for next time, next part of the video, which will be continuing on this anyway, so be all one video. So that's what my is, 94 kilograms, get to that. And then in March, I'll set another goal for the end of March, blah, blah, blah. So um, I'll do two parts in March as well, in one. So off through the month, I can see what I am, then set a goal for the end. So that's the way I want to do this now, so yeah. So now it's near the end of February. I thought I'd do the part two. So since part one, when I was 96, blah, 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 kilograms, um, last week I went down to 94. The 90% sure that would have gone down a bit more. So I'm happy with that, and what else? I'm getting back into the routine of eating properly, eating healthy. Uh, it's it's not easy. It's like it's got to go back to square one again. I mean, I haven't been eating crap, but I've been eating, as I said before, I've been eating more fatty stuff than sugar stuff. So it's just getting back to the balance of cutting that down again. You know, so <laughs> I'm managing it, but. Uh, it's just not easy. It's not easy, is it? Me 
mental health for mind wise the past say week has been over the moon it's been brilliant it's been fantastic i've learned a few lessons on the way um, from counseling last week which has helped me a lot to improve my mindset and yeah it's only getting better and better at the moment what to look forward to in march well hoping by the end of march i'm below 90 kilograms again towards the in the 80s um that's what i aim for i've still got another month and a bit till i go and see the diabetic nurse so you know and i i got my results from the eye diabetes eye test and it's okay it's perfect um there's no signs of any deterioration by diabetes by diabetes and yeah so that really cheered me up a lot because that was my fear really <clears throat> no one could lose my eyesight but I'm not going to now, so that's all right. Well, not only if I carry on healthy wise, you know. It's just a never ending learning curve, never ending learning curve. So, March is nearly here. Weather's going to get better. More outdoor stuff, more walking. Um, I hope by the end of March, I set up, I'm under 90, about 88, hopefully by the end of March. It's predicting. <laughs> And hopefully we start seeing a bit more of this go, you know, the, that go. And, yeah. So if you want to follow this, please do subscribe, like, comment, you know what to do. And this is the end of the February part. So any exciting things that happen, I shall include it um, in a separate video for the series. Or if not, that's it.